Welcome to the A&R NASCAR Cup Series Season 2 here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. We are here for the A&R NASCAR Open to see which of six of these drivers can race their way in to the A&R NASCAR All-Star Race. These ten drivers have locked themselves into the A&R NASCAR All-Star Race because they have won a race in the A&R NASCAR Cup Series. And in the case of Daniel Suarez, he is already locked in without even needing to worry about a race because he is last season's champion. So here is the layout of Charlotte. We'll get into a bit more detail in the actual race. This is going to be a quick video just so, um, just so uh, there's something for Saturday. So they go down a hill side by side, make a turn, ignore that noise, and go into an open section where they can be in bang. And then the finish line is right here. And then there is the uh, flags of NASCAR right there. Also, the next time we visit Charlotte, besides the Coke Zero, not Coke Zero, the Coca-Cola 600 and the actual All-Star Race, will be the Charlotte Roval, a new track to Season 2. So, that, that'll be at the end of the season with the playoffs. Here we go. First matchup is Jimmy McMurray and AJ Allmendinger. 3, 2, 1, go. And that was a clear winner of Jamie McMurray. Next is the 24 of William Byron and the 4 of Kevin Harvick. Let's see who is going to win. In 3, 2, 1. And they both wreck. So we're going to have to race again. Here we go again. In 3, 2, 1. And they wrecked again. Here we are. We're going to race again. In three, two, one. All right. Harvick went the farthest, so he is the winner. On the third round, if nobody finishes, then the car that went the farthest is the winner. William, not sure if you saw that, but William Byron hopped the wall while uh, Harvick was on his roof. That explains the dirt and scratches on the roof. But, next matchup is Stenhouse and Bubba Wallace. Three, two, one. Bubba went off the wall, and then Stenhouse just slid out right there. This is a fast track with some sharp turns. Let's see if anybody can finish this race. Also, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is in the 2017 cure cancer car um, or the breast cancer or whatever it is I'm not sure but yeah support cancer three two one go both of them go flying off the track is anybody gonna finish this track the only person that has that has ever completed the track is Jamie McMurray AJ Allmendinger ran out of fuel Kevin Harvey got flipped over on his lid William Byron got off the track and uh, Stenhouse and Boa also went off the track. This will be their final run. Whoever goes the farthest will be the winner. Here we go. Three, two, one, view. Finally, someone made it. True, uh, not true. X. Stenhouse made it, but he hit the wall and slid out. Camera won't focus, but that doesn't matter. He hit the wall, he slid out. Pretty sure they got caught on camera, but he is well over the line, so he will pass to he will pass to the All Star race. Alright, now we got Joey Logano and Ty Dillon. Ty Dillon's been making some noise. He's well up in the standings. Let's see if he can beat out Joey Logano. In three, two, one. Nope. Let's race again. In three, two, one. Joey yeah. Logano. Next up is Joe Gibbs' teammates. Uh, Denny Hamlin and uh, uh, Kyle Busch in his patriotic M&Ms. Three, two, one. Oh, it's a close finish, and it's Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch wrecks out his own teammate to make the All-Star Race. 
I'm not sure if you saw that, but Danny Hamlin went head on with the wall and then bounced off, got it out of the way, and Kyle Busch just went along and crossed the finish line. Kyle Busch, I'm not sure that's going to go over well in the trailer. Here we have the instant replay. The billboard got turned off, but uh, Denny Hamlin actually cut across trying to block. Had no room. I think he might have actually gotten loose there. And then just wrecked into Bush, and then Bush just nonchalantly crosses the start finish line. So, yeah, that's that. Now we have Eric Jones and Ryan Newman in 3, 2, 1. Nope. Here we go again. Three, two, one. Finally, someone finished the track. The next matchup is Alex Bowman and uh, Paul Menard. Couldn't think of the name right there. Three, two, one. And Paul Menard makes it. Alex Bowman wrecks out. He didn't even make it to the option section. Next, we have Casey Kane and Kyle Larson. That last round, someone finished the race on the first round. Something that I think only one pair of drivers have done so far. Jamie McMurray and A.J. Allmendinger. In three, two, one, they're off. Closer race, but uh, it looks like Kyle Larson will take that victory. We're making progress. That's the first time that both cars have crossed the finish line. I think drivers are try are finally figuring out Charlotte. Next up is Jamie McMurray and Kurt Busch. Brother of Kyle Busch, right down there. In three, two, one, Agio. And the Kurt Busch will take the victory. Next, we have Kevin Harvick and Kyle Larson. A million dollars might be on the line because they are trying to get in. So in three, two, one. Harvick passes Larson, who spins out. So that race is over. Harvick's the winner. Next up is Paul Menard and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Three, two, win. Agio. So, sit rep, Ricky Stenhouse didn't even make it down the track, he just completely fell off. And then Paul Menard had the victory in his hands, but he decided to spin out and go head on into the wall. Well, rerun. Let's try this again in 3, 2, 1, go. Ooh, big crash. Stenhouse is out in the lead, but neither of them made the finish. On to the final race. Three, two, one, again. Neither, neither of them made it. In fact, I'm not sure who to count. Paul Bernard's more on the track, but Stenhouse is farther forward. And Stenhouse will be the winner of that. Next, we have Joey Logano and Eric Jones. The two, the 22 and the 20. Man, this looks like a Martinsville recap of 2015 in the Monster Energy Cup series. Three, two, one. But this time, instead, the 20 comes up victorious. The six cars have made it. It is the 41 of Kurt Busch, the 18 of Kyle Busch, the 4 of Kevin Harvick, the 20 of Eric Jones, the 17 of Ricky Sinos Jr., and the 22 of Joe Vigano. These five will continue to race to see who will win the Monster or the NR NASCAR Open. Logano uh, has already been eliminated from winning, but he has already advanced. So the Kyle, the not the Kyle but brothers, the Bush brothers, will be racing each other. Currently, the billboard is being fixed. Uh, we will postpone the race until that has been fixed. It appears like it's been fixed. So let's see how the Bush brothers do against each other. Either way, there's probably going to be a rivalry at the end of the race. In three, two, one. Go. Big, big crash and Kurt. Kyle. Um, <laughs> Kyle Bush is just barely across the line. This is uh, reminiscent of Austin Dillon at Darlington uh, last season, where he just barely crossed the finish line, but still 
hit it so that he could advance. So Kyle Busch is the victor of that round, even after a huge crash. Well, we know that Kurt Busch is not from Philadelphia. That was not full of brotherly love. But do Especially when you try and use an aerial attack. It didn't catch up on... It didn't get caught on the replay camera, but Kurt Busch went airborne off the track, defying the laws of physics in order to take out his brother. Wow. Now we have Harvick and Jones in 3, 2, 1. Jones just comes short of the victory. We'll have to race again. And once again, Harvick's on his lid. Here we go, racing again. Harvick's going to try his best not to get on his lid, but there's no telling. In 3, 2, 1. He doesn't. He crosses the finish line. A clean run for the 4, not so clean for the 20. Next up are number neighbors of the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse and the 18 of Kyle Busch. 3, 2, 1. A year. Stenhouse Rex, he, uh, Bush, Bush Rex as well. Uh, oh, that is crack. Uh, they both wreck, so they'll have to rerun. After reviewing the replay, we have determined that Ricky Stenhouse has actually wrecked out Cal Bush from winning. He gets loose, he spins, he gets loose, he clips Bush, and then Bush spins out right there. He hits the outside wall, spins out, and loses all of his, all of his momentum before crossing the start finish line. Time for the rerun in three, two, one, go! Big crash again, neither of them make it on the track even. Here is the final race, whoever goes the farthest is the winner in three, two, a win, a you. Bit they, they wreck, but Stenhouse crosses the line! Kyle Busch tried to get payback, but he couldn't do it. He got payback, but it ultimately failed because Stenhouse just slid out and across the finish line. What a crazy finish for the 17 and 18. Wow. Like I said, Kyle Busch trying to get payback. He actually came up into him, door dinged him, and he sent him around, but he spun out and yet still crossed the start finish line. He didn't lose too much momentum from head oning into the wall. Meanwhile, Kyle Bush ultimately injured himself. He pretty much just shot himself in the foot because he made himself spin out. All right, here it is, the finale for the a and NASCAR Open. Stenhouse versus Harvick. Let's see who will win in three, two, one. Nobody. I'm not sure which lane has the advantage, because the inside lane is obviously shorter, but the outside lane carries a lot of momentum. Let's see who will win in three, two, one. Harvick. Kevin Harvick will win the all A&R NASCAR Open as he's just sitting directly on the start-finish line. He's just sitting there, just hanging out. Oof. Kevin Harvick, it's not considered his first career win, but he wins the a and NASCAR Open to move on to the a and NASCAR All-Star Race. So we'll see you guys back next week to see which one of these 16 drivers will win one million dollars it won't uh, count as a career win and the pace car is having fun it won't count as a career win but it will count as uh, a really big paycheck thank you for watching the ANR NASCAR Cup Series Season 2 from Charlotte Motor Speedway the pace, star, pace car says goodbye and so do we this is A&R NASCAR, signing off. Bye.